Please welcome a fellow veteran of SNL and the 2010 winner of the Mark Twain Prize, Tina Fey. With 11 Emmys, a Golden Globe, a Peabody, and nine SAG Awards, Julia is one of the most decorated actors in Hollywood, second only to Johnny Depp. But a lot of his decorations are scarves and carabiners, so it kind of evens out. <laughs> I've always liked Julia, uh, maybe because I'd like to believe that we have a lot in common. Uh, we both studied comedy in Chicago. We both lost our virginity to Brad Hall. <laughs> No, just, just me. Okay. Julia launched her television career on Saturday Night Live. Me too, not hashtag me too, just regular me too. <laughs> Julia was a cast member on SNL for three years, during which she created such popular characters as Cindy, the girl with a giant zit, El Dorco's date Becky, and end of list. But that's officially two more characters than I had. <laughs> so you're up by two, Julia. Uh, we both left SNL to do sitcoms. For Julia, it was Seinfeld, okay? And in the early 90s, at a time on network TV when actresses were expected to have great timing and great tans and great eating disorders, Julia made the bold choice for her character, Elaine Bennis, to wear long, loose dresses, flat shoes, and oversized coats, and a center barrette. <laughs> Because here's the secret, Julia's not afraid to be unlikable. Not on screen, and not in person. <laughs> Which isn't to say that Elaine was a drab character. Elaine Bennis was sex positive before we had a term for it. Hoarding birth control and realistically failing to remain master of her domain. <laughs> Julia let Elaine be petty and sarcastic and selfish and a terrible, terrible dancer. But it didn't work, Julia. People still fell in love with you. And after nine years on Seinfeld, men all over America were left wishing that they could be sponge-worthy. <laughs> Seinfeld was the last true water cooler show, the show that everyone was talking about the next day at work. And now the closest thing we have to that is the president's Twitter. You know? <laughs> Back then we had catchphrases like close talker and man hands. And now we have Pocahontas and horse face. It's fun, it's a fun time. <laughs> By the way, I think, you know, people think of Seinfeld as a classic comedy series with the most quotable jokes of all time, but people forget that the show also pioneered some of the worst pregnancy hiding in television history. <laughs> Judging by the number of episodes where Julia is carrying a grocery bag and stuff, I I'm guessing that she and Brad have 11 children? <laughs> um, I don't know. I should be honest, however, you know, Julia and I don't really know each other that well. You know, we haven't ever gone to dinner together and the few times I've been in her house, she was asleep. <laughs> but um, like other women in comedy, I've always felt a kinship with her. We know each other's experience without having to say too much. You know, I, we both know what it's like to come up in the improv comedy world where if you were one of the few women, you didn't get past the ball that often. So when you did get the ball, you had to score or you wouldn't get that ball again. That was a sports metaphor. <laughs> I know that because I had a Chicago boyfriend. <laughs> Julia and I both know what it's like to work long hours on your life-changing TV show and then go home and step immediately into the vortex of need with your young children. Because children really don't care how the table read went. They just want more milk in their Cheerios. Which, not to be preachy here, children always want too much milk in their cereal. And they never finish it. Anyway, I'm sorry. I <laughs> promised I would not get political tonight. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> anyway, we have so much in common. Julia and I get our award show gowns from the same lady, right? I noticed uh, she didn't give you one of these tonight, but uh, <laughs> better luck next time. <laughs> Just in case your arm gets shy. <laughs> We've both won Emmys for playing people who should never be vice president. <laughs> uh, Julia has been a tremendous role model for me as a comedic actress, and if I had to pick 
which of her many skills I admire most, I would say that it is her secret precision. It's her ability to appear completely effortless and natural on the surface while being a stone cold machine of timing underneath it. Julia is a Terminator robot of comedy. That's why she doesn't age. Metal bones, rubber eyes. <laughs> Julia is a great role model for women, yes, okay, sure, but also she is just a great role model for all human beings. She's a tireless advocate for women's health and the environment and a bunch of other stuff that won't exist pretty soon. <laughs> Julia, it, it really is an honor to be here to celebrate you tonight. You deserve this award, and not just because we're pretty sure that you never took your genitals out at work. <laughs> Congratulations, I love you.